Hey everyone, it's Tommy with yet another review and today we are looking at a Max Flow paint job. Max Flow, for those of you who don't know, is Mike Fisher and he's out of Los Angeles, California. And he has been extremely busy with a lot of goalie masks lately and fortunately he was able to fit mine in. So what I want to do is tell you a little bit about my concept and the design, the process, and how it came out. So let's get started. So the concept. The concept of this mask, as you can already tell, is Rene inspired, as I've done before, of course. I really like that Rene inspired look. Um, but what I wanted to do was personalize it a little bit and sort of do a little bit of an ode to my kids. So what I did was I wanted to get Sully from Monsters Incorporated. And I know it probably doesn't look a whole lot like it, mostly because of the decisions that I made. So for example, you can see in the back here, my pads are navy blue and light blue and white. So um, I didn't want to have teal or that turquoise color along with purple spots. So what we did was we took his eyes and the brow ridge here and that is straight from the movie as well as his mouth down here and his teeth the way his teeth are and as well as his fur um, a bit and that extends to the back as well. So um, there were some areas of this mask though that did not get painted um, and I was kind of upset about that, but I also understand from an artistic perspective, maybe it wouldn't have worked. So, for example, in the original concept, there were Sully's horns up top, and I think that may have completed the concept more, but maybe it wouldn't have looked as good um, artistically. Maybe it would have looked like a halo or something like that. So, I understand that. Um, another thing, too, is that I would have preferred this area right here. Um, you probably can't see on the camera, um, but it's black as opposed to navy. I really wanted that navy since that would have matched my pads more, so that's more black. So really the colors of this tend to be more black, blue, and white as opposed to uh, navy, a lighter blue, and white, which would change the direction of the mask and sort of the concept. So um, there were a couple parts on here that I was a little bit disappointed with, um, but at the same time, I think the mask actually came out really well. When I first received it, I was looking at it and I'm like, okay, I'm okay with this. How do I move forward? And as I kept looking at it and I had it on my desk for you know a good week while I put it together, um, you know, it, it really came together for me. And especially when you look at it from far away. And I said the same thing when I was going over uh, my equipment on my personal YouTube channel. Um, you know, from far away, this really looks like a badass mask. And that's why I really like it. So this has really grown on me. When you get up close, um, you think, okay, that's a really cool design, really neat. But when you get really far away and you're looking at it, and I know it's probably difficult for you guys to get too far away, but when you're looking at it from really far away, it looks really nice and I mean even up close especially in the lip area it's really nicely blended um, he definitely has a lot of skill um, it's pretty incredible the amount of um, the amount of detail he was able to get in here so that's really nice so if you get a chance check out that Maxflow website I'm gonna put it in the description below and I'm sure he's gonna be updating that a lot because he's been very busy lately with more and more masks which is pretty cool because I think he's doing a lot of really good artwork so definitely check that out. This entire process only took about two to three weeks. So it's really not that bad um, in comparison with a lot of places. And uh, you know, it really turned out well, even though I had to put my, uh, my cage and everything on because unfortunately there's a little bit of mis miscommunication and it didn't make it in the first package. But you know what, he did what was right and sent it to me and we got it all fixed up and it looks really beautiful. So definitely check out his website and if you have any questions about this paint job or anything else that he's done, let me know or go to his website. I'll link you in the description below. Good luck and I'll see you on the ice.